In this video, we are going to solve interval scheduling maximization problem. Interval scheduling is a class of problems where we are given data sets representing time intervals. Now there are a lot of variants of this problem, but we will be working on interval scheduling maximization. So here we are given set of intervals and in this problem, we need to find a set of non-overlapping intervals of maximum size. That is, we need to choose as many intervals as possible from the set that don't conflict with each other. The goal here is to execute as many tasks as possible. So your result set must be having maximum number of intervals which are non-conflicting. Here we can see non-overlapping intervals are A and D. As first, we will pick the interval A, which is from 0 to 6. So we cannot pick B and C as they are overlapping intervals. A finishes at 6, so any interval that starts after 6 can be picked, which is D here. Let's see how we can find optimal solution with greedy algorithm. The steps are, we're going to sort intervals by their finish time and choose the earliest finish time interval, as the goal is to choose the maximum number of intervals. If we choose interval that is finishing earlier, we will be able to include more intervals in the set, right? And with that, we need to check the next interval should not conflict with the one we just chose. For instance, these are the intervals. Remember the finish time of interval that we just took and compare it with the start time of the next interval. So last finish time is 3 and then we have C. It's not overlapping. It starts after 3 so we can have it. So we choose the next interval only if it starts after the last finish time. If it overlaps, we won't pick it. This overlaps, we cannot pick it. And now this also overlaps. But this can be included it starts right after e so this is the output we get and this is how this algorithm works now let's analyze the time complexity for this problem in this we will be sorting the intervals by their end times and then we iterate through the sorted set for finding the non-overlapping time intervals so sorting gonna take n log n running time plus there will be n iterations. So total complexity will be order of n log n plus order of n. We can ignore the term O n here, hence the time complexity for this problem will be order of n log n. Now the space complexity. So in this to solve this problem, we are creating n size array for storing the optimized intervals one by one. So the space complexity will be order of n. And this is when we are including the output array in this analysis. If we do not include the output structure in this analysis, then it will be constant space because your algorithm is not using up that space to calculate something or to process something or to perform any kind of operation. It is using that space only to store the result. That's why if you don't consider that output array, then it will be constant space. So space complexity most of the time is dependent on what you're going to include in your complexity analysis.